in the South Asian region. In the first half of this year, our bilateral trade value stands at $9.35 billion, with a growth rate of 17.6% year on year. The contracts send are worth $3.57 billion, a growth rate of 8.6% year on year, and the number one in South Asia. Chinese investments signed at, at $5.94 million and $380 million in terms of stock. The people of China and Bangladesh have jointly wrote down a splendid chapter of common development and the strong co complementarities with mutual respect and equality. Ladies and gentlemen, for thousands of years, China, South Asia, and Southeast Asia have been looking out for each other like a family. Nowadays, we share the common grounds of interests and uh, dis destiny, which makes the win-win cooperation the trend of our time. Look, looking ahead, it requires us to deepen our cooperation with future in mind, make joint efforts to promote the BI, and uh, contribute to the building of community of shared future for mankind. For this, I'd like to propose five suggestions. First, to persist in peaceful cooperation and strengthen strategic mutual trust. China, South Asia, and Southeast Asia share the goals to maintain world space and safeguard the regional development. So, we need to jointly put into practice a shared, comprehensive, cooperative, and sustainable security approach so as to promote universal security and common security. The friendship between China and Bangladesh can be dated way back into history. Yet, staying young and fresh at the same time, since the establishment of, of our diplomatic ties, we have been maintaining a friendship relation, respecting each other's chosen development paths, and paying attention to each other's core interests and concerns. We are also having frequent high-level visits. Bangladesh is the converging point of the land and maritime silk roads, and thus a natural partner for building the BIA. We should maintain high level exchanges. Families stand behind the global peace and become partners for peaceful cooperation. Second, to persist in win-win cooperation for the well-being of the people. As close neighbors to China, South Asian and Southeast Asian countries play a significant role in the involvement of global governance system. In global governance, we should be committed to extensive consultation, joint contribution and shared benefits and together build a community of shared future for China, South Asian and Southeast Asian countries. China and Bangladesh share similar national realities and dreams. In March 2018, the United Nations confirmed that Bangladesh has met the graduation criteria from the least developed countries. The dream of Shona Bangla and Vision 2030 share a similarity with the Chinese dream and the two centenary goals proposed by President Xi Jinping.
So we show the phase align or development strategies. Explore China Bangladesh Plus cooperation mode and become good partners with win-win cooperation. Third, to process in openness and inclusiveness and build a global partnership network, South Asian and Southeast Asian countries are important partners for the BI. We should follow the concept of openness, interconnective, mutual benefits, and win-win cooperation, promoting more common interests in the region, and a more balanced and comprehensive development for Asia. Both China and Bangladesh have highly prosperous mix that attract businessmen for from all over the world. Bangladesh's development ideas, like 100 economic zones, blue economy, and digital Bangladesh, can be naturally integrated into the development vision described in the BIA. China and Bangladesh should accelerate the construction of the Padma Bridge and the K projects advance the feasibility study for China Bangladesh FTA and then start the negotiation as soon as possible for fruitful outcomes. We will complete the exchanges of letters for this tariff for treatment to 97% of tariff for items exported from Bangladesh to China within a short time, further boost the export of Bangladesh goods to Chinese market, with further development assistance, economic investments, and infrastructure cooperation.